So when I put this pull together, I hard plumbed all of the, you know, from the pump, the filter, you know, from the pull to the filter and then from the filter back to the pool. Thought this would be a good idea, more durable PVC. You know, you nick it with a weed eater, you're not gonna spring a leak. But, you know, the thing that I didn't take into account is when people are in the pool swimming, especially kids, you know, they have a tendency to splash around and bounce around. The pool moves quite a bit back and forth. And with this rigid PVC, it puts an awful lot of stress both on these connections, but more importantly at the pump. So I've been fighting leaks with this setup. So I've got a new plan. I'm gonna show y'all what it is that I'm going to do. We'll see if it works. I think it's gonna work better. So this is what I did. I ended up replumbing this and changing and, and cutting off that hard connection to the pump and replacing it where I could put the little short um, connector hose. This is the little hose that typically goes on top of the pump, you know, from, from the pump over to the filter, which I have that hard plumbed, but I bought two of those hoses and now I have the plumbing for the pool connected uh, to the pump with those hoses versus hard PVC. So that way, when the, when the pool moves, it's not so rigid at the pump. Much better solution. The way I did it was I just uh, came off of that with a T and then a little short piece of one and a half. And then that goes into a two inch to one and a half um, adapter, threaded mill adapter. And those hoses will screw right onto that. So I ended up having to make some gaskets. I had to buy some uh, rubber gasket, um, rubber sheet gasket, and make gaskets for those connections so they won't leak. But Turned out good. Got the skimmer going. Got the robot in there doing its thing. Ready for summer.